I'm a hydrologist, which basically means that I deal with the movement of water in landscapes. The dynamics of water has a commanding effect on the biodiversity of fish in river networks. River networks are fractals, and fractals are this type of mathematical constructs in which the parts and the whole cannot be distinguished from one another. River networks are fractals, lightning is fractal, trees are fractals, clouds are fractals. To the untrained eye, they may look very different, but there is an enormous amount of unity in this infinite diversity. In a river basin, the channel network fragments the space, and its character as a fractal implies, among other things, that the laws that govern the structure of that network are the same regardless if the river basin is small, or is large, or is in Venezuela, or is in the United States, or is in Africa. It's very different than in a savanna. In a savanna, seeds, animals, people move through a space that is really non-fragmented. Okay, what we have done really is a mathematical model implemented in a computer. We merged different sets of existing data from the Mississippi-Missouri River Basin. It is a fantastically simple model, but it predicts wonderfully well all the biodiversity characteristics that we are interested in studying. From the practical side, it provides us a link to the changes in biodiversity one can expect from external things like climate change. Another aspect is the impact that man-made structures like dams will have in biodiversity. From the science point of view, river basins are crucial depositories of biodiversity, of energy resources, and human populations itself. We need to understand how the different dynamics that act on them influence each other.